My name is Madeline Britt, and I'm a mathematics PhD student at the University of California, Berkeley. So, what does a math PhD student do all day anyways? Well, mostly I do a lot of math. Let me tell you about it. I study a subject called algebraic geometry. Algebraic geometers want to know, given equations, what kinds of shapes do their solutions make? This seems like kind of a weird question. Why would a set of equations give you a shape? Let's do an example. Let's say I start with this point in the plane, 0 comma 0, and I want to know all of the points that are distance 1 away from that point. For example, if I draw this line segment that has length 1, then at the end of it there will be a point, which I'll call x comma y, that is distance 1 away from, from this starting point. 0 comma 0. But what if I wanted to know all of the points that were distance 1 away from, from this point? Well, then I would get a circle. Why is the boundary of the circle given to me by an algebraic equation? This line segment is going to have length x, and this line segment is going to have length y, because this point says that the x-coordinate is a distance x away from 0, and the y-coordinate is distance y away from, um, from 0. So now I have my triangle, and by the Pythagorean theorem, I know that this means that x squared plus y squared equals 1. The condition that I want all of the points that are distance 1 away from 0, 0, ends up giving me this algebraic equation. All of the solutions to this algebraic equation will define points on the boundary of the circle. This is an example of when an algebraic equation can give me a geometric shape. Sometimes your algebraic equations are very, very complicated. Maybe the exponent is really large, or there's a lot of terms in the equation. In that case, we're going to need some tools to help us understand the geometry because we may not be able to easily draw the shape. The degree is a tool that helps you understand how lines intersect your shape. Given any line, how many points the circle in two points. We see that L1 shares two points with the circle. Another thing that could happen is that the line doesn't meet the circle at all. I'll call that one L2. In this case, L2 shares zero points with the circle. The last thing that could happen, and this one's a bit tricky, is that the line is tangent to the circle, like this. In that situation, the line only shares one point with the circle. The answer to our question is two. A line can share at most two points with the circle. It turns out that that number two is exactly equal to the exponent in my equation. The degree is an algebraic quantity that tells me something about the geometry of the shape that I'm curious about. This is just an example of one tool that algebraic geometers use to understand shapes that are defined by really complicated equations. This is what I like to think about, and that's what I'm doing for my PhD thesis. Thanks for watching.